Hey guys, as you can see, I'm back with a new and different video. Today, I'll be showing you guys how I did my butterfly locks. This is how they turned out. I think they are super, super cute. If you agree, girl, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe because we're only going up from here. Video, uh, videos on hair, videos on makeup, all of, all of the shebang, all of it. So for this hairstyle, it took me eight hours to do it i started at about one and i ended at 10 or it was around one or two and i ended at 10 o'clock um i used the passion i meant to take a freaking picture i used the free tree um water wave hair i'm pretty sure if i'm wrong i will it will be a picture posted up because i don't want to tell y'all the wrong thing it'll be a pic picture somewhere over here with the hair i used a crochet needle to crochet it through the um braids and then um i use edge control that i will also import a picture of so you guys will know exactly what i use i would say to start earlier if you're gonna do this hairstyle especially if this is your first time because this is my first time doing these of course so i would say start it earlier in the morning so i'll give you like nine or ten that way you have like some of your day left to do some things so yeah i would say to do that mine came out way chunkier than others i actually like the way they are how chunky they are i mean but if you want to go for a tight like for more of the like tighter coral look i guess you could say just don't do it as loose as i was doing them just actually go tighter and then just do the um the thumb method to you know get your little um like me your messy look i guess you could say because i also did use the thumb method with this but i was just way looser with the hair of course yeah i will be showing you guys what i did for the braids and all that stuff and yeah before you get into the video be sure to subscribe be sure to give me a big thumbs up comment down below any videos that you would like for me to do um once again i'm nivia if i did not say my name in the beginning i'm nivia hey girl how you doing or hey boy what's good um be sure to smash that bell so you can notify every single time i post a video and yeah let's get into the video hey so now i'm gonna start off by taking down the hairstyle that i had before you know gotta wash condition and all that good stuff blow it out and yeah so that's what you're gonna see me doing here Okay, so as you guys can see, I already sectioned my hair off and I started doing my braids, of course, because that's your first step. So after I blew out my hair and everything, I started doing my braids. What you're going to do is you're going to section your hair off into circles, bo I mean boxes or um, triangles, whichever shape you prefer. And you're going to start braiding your hair 
in those sections now what you truly need to worry about are the braids that go from ear to ear and the ones that are in the back of your head because those are the ones that are really going to show the middle doesn't necessarily matter your boxes do not have to be perfect but just please be sure that your braids look very nice the ones that are going from ear to ear and the ones that are in the back Okay, now I'm about to show you guys how I actually did the butterfly lock. So first you're going to start off with two strands of your um, your hair. I forgot what the hair is called, but it will be on the screen, of course, and in the intro. You're going to grab two sections. You're going to separate them, you know, make them fluffy first. Okay, after you do that, you're going to go to the box or whatever section that you're going to do and you're going to grab your um, crochet needle and you're going to put that through your box braid and then you're going to take your hair and you're going to loop it through. If this is your first time doing that, then it may take you a few times. I think I actually left the clip in where it took me a little bit to get it through and I think this is actually the clip but it's gonna be okay you know just take your time and do it and get it through okay now that you have your hair through what you're going to do is you're going to pull one side of the hair out like so and you're going to make one side longer than the other. Now this is where you are going to start twisting. You're going to twist really tight around the root of your hair so it's like locked and loaded you know it's secure and then after that that's when you're just gonna start twisting down now if you want your locks to be tighter then just go in a tighter motion do not go loose like i did which is why mine turned out bigger but you know it's fine i mess with it but if you do not want that type of look then just go tighter and then just do the um the thumb method around to get that distressed look Now, once you're at the bottom and you're at the length to where you want it, you're going to tie a knot or not necessarily a knot, but you're just going to tie it and then you're going to work your way back up. Do not go all the way up to the root, but just go back up around the hair and then it should just stay.
Now you're just going to repeat that step around or this process around your whole entire head until you are all the way done. watching that video please comment down below and tell me if you're going to do them they're honestly way easier than it looks i mean if i made it look hard then i'm sorry i'm sorry they are very much super duper easy to do so if you do do them be sure to comment down below and let your girl know so we can be looking cute together because i really do think this is really cute you know it's me back to my roots you know so yeah um if you want me to do any other hair videos, be sure to comment down below and I will do them, of course. Be sure to smash that bell so you get notified every single time I post a video. Be sure to subscribe because why not join the fam? The more the merrier. We accept you all. Um, and remember, when you walk into the room, you put the chain on top. Bye. Thank you.